Yeah, Serena Cater was a home economics teacher here at McLeod High School. Now the 43 year old woman is being called a child predator accused of grooming and stalking her male students. Every child should be able to to have a safe environment to learn in. Uh, unfortunately, this is just one of those times that for certain students, it didn't happen. An internal investigation by McLeod High School found 10 of their male students may have been stalked and groomed by a now former home economics teacher. Serena Cater faces three felonies for admitting to sending sexual messages and pictures back and forth with three students. Court documents show Cater would groom each boy the same way, texting their phone, messaging them on social media sites before finally adding them on Snapchat. The investigation showed Cater even made the effort to become close friends with her victim's parents, especially the mothers, sending them pictures of the boys in class or at sporting events. I do think that sometimes there's a misnomer. Uh, people look at whether it's a male uh, victim and a female, you know, uh, predator compared to a male predator and a female victim. Sometimes they look at it differently. I think that's a mistake. Uh, their kids. Court documents show the investigation was prompted after a student told her mom Cater was having sex with students. Cater gave administrators a list of 10 students she was inappropriately messaging all between the ages of 14 and 18. Administrators say they were made aware of the possible incident in November. After the internal investigation, the school turned over all findings to police and said Cater no longer works for the district. Our school system in our community, they don't tolerate it. Um, the school system did everything that they could do um, to protect those kids. Cater excused all actions by claiming she drank too much, suffered from mental illness, and couldn't separate dreams from reality. Nobody else has come forward. Uh, we would encourage people to come forward. A lot of times in cases like this, you know, people feel more empowered to be able to come forward. Maybe it's not so, such a stigma. Now, Cater was arrested last Thursday with a bond of $15,000. The police chief tells me today that she has since been bailed out and the case now belongs to the DA's office.